To begin our t-shirt mock-up, we need to set up our document, okay? So the first thing you need to do is click File, then choose New, and you want to name your document Pucker and Bloat underscore my last name, okay? So you want to do Pucker underscore Bloat underscore your last name underscore your grade, which is eight, underscore your class period, which will be either one or two, okay? Make sure your size is letter, your width should be 11, your height should be eight and a half inches, and your orientation should be landscape, okay? Once you see all those settings, click OK. Now that we have our new file, and it's coming up here, okay, now that we have our new file, what I would like you to do is open up some windows. Now these are the windows that we need to have open the whole time um, because you're going to be using them continuously through the course of this project. First window you need to op first thing you need to do is go to the window menu at the top of your screen. Okay? Make sure that your align menu has a check mark next to it. If it does not, click on it. Okay? Your align palette will open. Then you need to make sure your brushes palette is open. Make sure your layers palette is open. Okay. Make sure your Pathfinder palette is open. And make sure that your swatches palette is open. Okay. These five palettes are what you will be using for almost this whole project. Okay, you'll be using it the entire time. So once these palettes are open um, and your, your file is named Pucker and Bloat with your last name, underscore eight, underscore your class period, either one or two, do a file, save as, and save this file into your iDrive. Now you should make a folder that's called Pucker and Bloat, so that way we can keep all of our files in that folder um, for organizational purposes. Okay, make sure you save it as an Adobe Illustrator file and click Save. Okay, now when you see these Illustrator options, just click OK. Now what you can do is close up this tutorial and move on to the next one.